I'm on my way to meet a man who claims to smuggle guns into the UK. Sky News can reveal the National Crime Agency has noted an alarming increase in firearms on our streets. And Sam is part of the problem. I like it. Very nice. Yeah. Very sweet. Good gun. Yes. Don't point it at me. This has come through for us. Well, 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 but the original is from Belgium. Yeah, yeah. And I bring it from here. The gun from Belgium is very, very cheap. Very cheap. Very cheap. How much in Belgium? By this. Six hundred euros. Six hundred euros. Yes. And how much is it worth here? Uh, yeah, two thousand. Two thousand. Eight hundred pounds. Two thousand. Two thousand eight hundred. Yeah. Sam, not his real name, says he uses this gun himself that he's paid yeah. by drugs gangs to do their dirty work. For money. Right. You've it's used it three. Have used it three times. Third time. Third time. Ten. Ten times. Oh, ten times. Ten times. Ten times. National Crime Agency fears there are more guns in the hands of organised criminals than ever before. It confiscated 104 illegal firearms in 2017-18. That rose to 168 the following year. But in the last 10 months alone, they've already seized 425 guns. So the quantity has quadrupled in three years. Would you say there are more than ever before? It feels that there's more than ever before, and if you look at the statistics that we've got, the seizures are on the increase. Um, yes, that means we're being more successful at, at obtaining them, but also it could indicate that there's more available. Forensic teams have had recent high-profile success in linking single weapons to multiple shootings. So unused, so-called clean guns are preferred. Andy Cook, the chief constable of Merseyside Police, had predicted this rise in clean guns coming in. I was right, it is going up. We're seeing far more newly inferred firearms, far more firearms that have been used for the first time, as opposed to firearms that have been used time and time again. That very clearly spells out a problem. When I first met Sam a few months ago, he explained how he got his guns in from Europe. I want to go to Belgium. Right. Uh, Belgium is all the gun, very easy. You have too much gun there. Yeah. Because I've been friends, I buy the gun. All the time I go buy gun there. Yeah. And someone, some people there in the jungle. And uh, some lorry, this company. And the driver, I don't know. Someone, he put the gun there and put the tracker. And, and they put uh, a tracker on the lorry? On the tracker as well, and the people, they tell you, when I can, they give you passport, everything. You give you the pen number of the car. So the, so the lorry driver doesn't even know? I don't know. I go to collect 10 gun, he collect go five gun, and I have my customer example, I give him five and ten. Guns are sometimes posted here from America, but in parts of Europe, it's legal to own decommissioned guns that criminals can convert back into lethal weapons. Criminals can buy those firearms perfectly legally and, and they will bring them into the UK. Obviously, as they reach the UK, they're either illegal before they get here or they're readily convertible, i.e. they can drill them out and make them an illegal firearm with great ease. Oh, Last year, this man, Stephen Spires, was convicted as part of a gang trying to import 95 guns into the UK from Europe. As with Sam's operation, the driver was seemingly unaware of his cargo. In August last year, a man was stopped in Dover with 60 guns concealed in his car panels. And this gang sailed their guns in from France and up the Medway in a private yacht. But the National Crime Agency was waiting. It was the largest haul of automatic weapons seized on the UK mainland. Police say they're lobbying in Europe to try and make convertible guns illegal. Lovely gun. In the meantime, it's just a case of trying to stop people like Sam. Jason Farrell, Sky News.